If you like designing PDFs in Canva, but you want to make them fillable, in this video, I'm gonna share how you can make fillable PDFs by using Canva and then taking them in to DocHub. In a previous video, I showed how you can create fillable PDFs for free using PDF Escape. But in this video, I wanted to show you another alternative called DocHub because DocHub also allows you to sign things and also request signatures, which can be great if you also want to create things like contracts for your business. There are so many different things you can use fillable PDFs for. This could be for contracts, as I said, for creating workbooks, for creating fillable planners or even fillable calendars. There are all kinds of cool things you can do with them and it's also going to set anything you create apart. If you have something that's actually fillable rather than needing to be printed, it's going to make things easier for people. They've got options in there. So let's have a look at how you can do this using Canva and DocHub. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is design your workbook in Canva. So I've got a design here and what I've done is create areas where people can fill in text. So all I've done is just simply put a colored box in. So to do that, all you do is go into elements and grab a box and then you'd size it to the area where you want someone to be able to put text and choose a light color where people could actually write on top of. So usually a light gray or a light creamy color, something that's fairly light and easy to write on top of. So I've got a page here with some short text here. I've also got a page here where people can put larger amounts of text, so a paragraph. I've also got some check boxes to show you how we can do that and a calendar and also a section to sign because you can actually sign using DocHub. And if you want to create something where people can sign something such as a contract, maybe you want to share contracts or it's just something personal to sign that, yes, I commit to doing this, that sort of thing, you've got that option too. So you can either, as I said, do the colored boxes to create all these things, or you can also use just lines. So if you're just going to elements and get out a line, you can simply just put in lines as well. It's up to you whether you prefer those color boxes or lines to create your design. So once you've created your design, you want to go to share and download, and you want to select PDF standard and download. Now in DocHub, so this is DocHub.com, you're going to go to New Document, Select File and Upload Your File. So once it's uploaded, we can say Create Document. Here are our pages. Now you can zoom out if you want to or zoom in, what's ever going to be easiest as you work on it. So let's go to our pages. So here we want to put an area where people can actually add text. So we're going to go up here and you've got the option here to see your pages on the side too if you want to just see what you've got there and easily find things. And then we've got here manage field. So this is where we're going to add things. So we've got here text field for something like this, a single line. You've also got here paragraph field, so bigger areas like the notes here, we might want that. You've also got check boxes. Then if you decide you need some more things, if you upgrade to pro, you can also have drop down fields, also have something where people can upload images or they can add attachments. And in the free version, you can also add signatures and date fields. All right, so let's start adding in our text field. So we're going to click on this one here, text field, and we're going to put it in, click in there. And if you need to resize, you can just move it along like that to resize. Now, once you make a resize, it will continue to keep that size. So if you want to put several in, you can continue on with that size and just click in to add them all. Now, over here, you do have some extra options to change like placeholder text, character limit, um, background color, different things like that. If you wanted to, multi-line, required field, all those things. So you do have those extra options there if you need them. Otherwise, you can just leave it like that if you're happy with that. Now to add the longer paragraph text here, again, we're going to just grab this and we're going to show the area we want for that. And now it's created our field where somebody can create paragraph of text. So this is single line and that's if you want multi-line where people can write whole paragraphs. So you can see here it's ticked multi-line so people can write a lot more text in those boxes. So it'd be the same with these ones. We would just want multi-line and we'd just draw in where we want those to go. Not looking at checkboxes, so if we click on the checkbox one, we can just click in where we want the checkbox to be. And now, obviously, if you want it a bit bigger, you can drag it to make it a bit bigger. And again, whenever you resize something, it then keeps that size, so it's really easy to then just go through and click and continue to add them. Now, on our calendar page, a calendar you'd probably want to use here multi line for something like that, so people can write some information into their calendar. And then for our signature, we want to choose this one here, signature. And we just 
click there and add that and then people would be able to sign. So that's really handy for anything where you want someone to add a signature, such as if you are sharing a contract or something like that. And as you can see, you also have the date field. So if you wanted to make a full on calendar where you can, you know, someone can add a date as well as some details, you've got the option to do that too. So it does give you quite a few different options to make something that people can fill in. Now, once you've finished it, all you have to do is come over here to download choose where you want to download it to and download your new file. I hope you found that helpful. And if you'd like to see more Canva tutorials, learn more about graphic design and branding, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you next time.